Okay, uh, question five, we've got a particle which is resting on the slope. Here's my particle. Uh, the weight of the particle is um, 5 G Newtons, that's acting vertically downwards. Um, there's a force acting at 20 degrees to the line of greatest slope, you can see that here. There must also be a frictional force acting up the slope because if the 20 Newton force disappeared, the particle would go down the slope and friction always acts so as to oppose the motion. I've also put in my normal reaction here, so those are all of the forces which are acting on the particle. So the question says, um, show that the normal contact force has magnitude 24.6 Newtons. So I'm going to use the facts here that the forces which are acting away from the slope must be the same as the forces which are acting towards the slope, because there's no movement either away from or into the slope. So acting away from the slope, I've got all of R, and I've also got the component of the 20 Newton force, which is acting in this direction, in the direction of R, and that's going to be 20 cos 60 degrees. So I'm taking away from the slope there to be one direction. Acting towards the slope, I've got the component of the weight, which is acting in this direction, and that's just 5g cos 45 degrees. So if I want to work out R, all I've got to do is 5g cos 45 degrees minus 20 cos 60 degrees, and that comes out as 24.648, so that's 24.6 Newtons to three significant figures. We're now told in the next part of the question that the equilibrium is limiting. So this isn't just an any old frictional force, this is the maximum frictional force here. And we know that F max is equal to mu R. Now we've already worked out what R is, so F max must be um, mu, we don't know that, multiplied by, and I'm going to use the exact value here, so that's the 5g cos 45 minus 20 cos 60. Now I'm also, I also know this is in equilibrium, so the forces acting up the slope must equal the forces which are acting down the slope, same as any old equilibrium. So acting up the slope, I've got all of F max in this direction, and I've also got the component of this 20 Newton force which is acting in the same direction as F max, and that's just going to be 20 cos 30 degrees. And those two forces combined must equal the component of the weight, which is acting in a downward direction, and that's 5g cos 45 degrees. So if I just make F max the subject of that, F max, the maximum frictional force, is just going to be 5g cos 45 minus 20 cos 30. And I'm going to go back now to here, because I've got another expression there for F max. I also know that F max is equal to mu multiplied by 5g cos 45 minus 20 cos 60 degrees. And I've now got two different exp expressions for F max. I can just put these two expressions equal to each other. So I now know that mu times 5g cos 45 minus 20 cos 60 must equal 5g cos 45 minus 20 cos 30. All I need to do to find mu is do this one divided by this one, and it comes out as 0.703 to three significant figures.